There's as many different faces of dementia as there are people who have it. No one acts the same as the next one. You're okay one day, you get a diagnosis, and then the next day, you're still you. It doesn't take away who you are. When I got diagnosed with dementia, I couldn't give up. I really had too much going for me. When I heard that I have Alzheimer's, I don't want to stop. Once in a while, I feel lost, but I'll figure it out. I may be sitting here living with Alzheimer's, and you know what? I'm still me. It was just an accumulation of things that maybe other people didn't notice, but for me it was really like, what is going on? Every day is important. And that you're still a person. We get a diagnosis. We are not the diagnosis. We receive the diagnosis. And we then are able to move on with our life and still live our life by making changes. It's been three years since my diagnosis. 18 months I tried doing it alone. And then I realized what I needed to do is get the support. The best thing that we can do for ourselves is really look at what our own needs are and then pursue getting the appropriate help. Be who you have been and continue to be. As long as you're able to communicate, don't be hesitant to say that I have Alzheimer's. The approach is to do more, get involved, keep your brain active. I love sewing and I didn't stop that. Because if you stop, you're not gonna gain anything. Till my brain's not working, I'm gonna do whatever I can. It's implementing ways that you can still live your life and do things, but doing it safely. And I think that's the big thing, the big message, that we are still able to live our lives and stay active. Activity helps your brain function. So stay involved and stay social. Keeping your brain active is a, is a lot of things, I think. Reading, for one thing, continuing to be part of a group, you have to be part of it. You can't just sit back in a group and be and say nothing. The home support people, they got me interested in doing things so I didn't have to stay home all the time. Next thing I knew, I was busy just about every day, so I didn't, I, I didn't have to worry about being lonely. I want people to start thinking if you're a cashier, if you work in a restaurant, if you, wherever you work, if you see someone fiddling with their cards, I just want people to stop and think, well, why is this person acting this way? Is there something I could do? Could I help them? It's all of us working together on a common goal that is going to change the way people living with dementia are accepted and looked at in the world. Take a deep breath. You still are who you are and get the support you need, but the professional support that you need. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them. And this is you and you have every right to be you. And so you need to stand up for yourself. Don't think your life's over, but keep going. Keep doing the things you love. We, there may be Alzheimer's in, in the family, but we're still alive. Whatever you do, don't give up. There's always somebody that cares. You have to figure out and you have to not stop anything. There's lots of things to do, yeah. People living with dementia are still human beings. We still can communicate. We can still do things. We may be a little slower to come back with our responses due to the disease process, but we're still able to. Give us the moment we need to show you.